um, you know, probably the subject of social media and um, what we need to, or sort of uh, appearances that people want to keep up on there is probably a whole nother subject for another time. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's, I think I saw somewhere that we've got um, like three versions of us, the version at home, the version that people see in real life and then the version that people see on social media. Um, yeah. And I think that's, yeah, sadly really quite true in a lot of cases. Yeah. It's, it's a hard one, the social media, because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably guilty of this. I don't put out all of my struggles um, by like I've got a, the last three weeks has been extremely difficult in many different ways, but I don't put really any of that out there. Um, and it's, it's a tough, balance because I don't want to share everything um you know how how private do you how far out into your private life do you go but I've always tried to keep our page reason fairly positive we've talked about um you know tools and things you can you can use and and things I've been through in the past and and whatnot and that sort of thing but yeah it's a tough balance to to get um and it's yeah, I don't, I don't have a solution for that either because it's 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 everyone's own um, space to put out what they want. So I think it's more about that awareness that um, you know we're all we're all battling something under the surface. Um, I came across a quote uh, about a year ago now, just about, um, and it was "float like a duck and paddle like fuck," <laughs> um, and that that went. Um, quite viral actually I did a little video on that and but it's so true I, I came across it and I was just like how true is that you know we're we're all in, we're all in a pond paddling underneath you know and we we look graceful on the surface but um, no matter who you are or what you're doing or what your job is or how famous you are or how good you look or whatever there's something there's always something under the surface that's that's nagging at you or causing you trouble or stress or or yeah, causing negative thoughts or something. And it's, yeah, it's just such a great analogy for life, particularly with social media. You just, if you can understand that, then you'll, you'll be okay on social media, I think, if you can remind yourself of that. Yeah, absolutely. I love that one. That wasn't where, that wasn't going where I thought it was going. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, that's, that's such a good point. And, you know, I regularly remind clients that, you know, sure, I've got a lot of tools in the toolkit and, you know, I've um, a lot more connected to myself than I have been in the past and all that jazz. But that, you know, I'm still going to get triggered. I'm still going to get down. I'm still going to be upset about things. I'm going to be totally fucked off about other things. You know, it's just life. We're going to have that stuff come up. But I guess the real key is how long we prepared to stay there or um yeah you know sort of how long we stay in that space and what we can do and the tools that you talk about to yeah move back and get the ball rolling yeah. again. I was just thinking about this this morning you know you can have all the tools in the world doesn't you know things still break down yep. um or, or things don't go to plan and um yeah I was, I was literally thinking that this morning um so it's interesting you brought that up and yeah it's it's about yeah, I, I just see those tools in the back pocket as as a way to flip things around and and yeah, stay. I, I sort of believe I don't know how correct it is that um, we can change the state of our mind whenever we want to, um, and and that sounds um, I don't know what the word is, but it, it, it's probably going to sound pretty bad to someone that's not in a good space at the moment. But you know. Our, our state of mind is something that we actually have influence over. Um, it's just the knowledge and the 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 I don't know the the sight to be able to do that at, at any point. Um, you know, the further you go down, the harder that is, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm a hundred percent. I've got to be proactive about recognizing when when issues are coming up, or if I'm holding on to something, or or something's. Um, you know, if I've shoved something down when I shouldn't have, um, yeah. you know, that, that sort of undermines the cliff you're standing on, doesn't it? Um, when you do that, and that's probably a hard lesson I learned earlier, earlier on in life. Um, but yeah, acknowledging what you're feeling, um, ac accepting the situation you are and then taking action, um, a positive action um, to, to do something about how you're feeling and, and what you're going through. Um, burying stuff just 
sooner or later it comes back up and grabs you and it's it's a it's not very pleasant usually no. so yeah it's yeah no no you can do all the mental health uh, skills and and read all the books and that but um you know everyone goes through shit yeah and i think you know a sort of analogy with the farm i imagine and the tools would be you know if you're out in the paddock one day and like the fence was down or something like that you know if you've got what you need on your tool belt kind of thing then you're able to fix so. that quite quickly or you know come up with a solution but if you've actually got to go back uh to the tool shed and you know yeah. find what you need and all the rest of it then you're going to have that damaged fence or that yeah. um you know, we, like. we usually forget about it if you don't do it straight away yeah, true um, that's one go. of the one of the habits i picked up early on in farming is when you find something broken or something breaks was to fix it as soon as possible yeah um, because you often I think, oh yeah, I'll do that later or do that tomorrow. Um, and you often forget about it and then two weeks later you go and go to use something and it's still broken. You think, oh geez, and then and then it ruins your whole day. Yeah. Uh, because you're not prepared to you're not prepared to go and use something and it's and it's broken. So yeah, that's a that's a great little analogy really is is to get on and fix it while you can. And um yeah, it's it's about just being aware of, of how you are at any given point, I think. And and acknowledging what's going on, I think is a massive thing. Um, acknowledging what you're feeling and and then accepting it and taking some action is, is what I found to be really important straight away rather than leaving it for another day. That another, another day doesn't come usually. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, something else will take over and uh, yeah, yeah. We'll get pushed down, push down the list. Yeah. Okay, um, awesome. How do people get hold of you or follow you or um, yeah, where can they find you, Kane? Yep, so we're on Facebook and Instagram, um, either one of the two, under Kane Briscoe underscore FarmFit is where you'll find me. Um, and yeah, we we chuck out all sorts of things on there, but we generally try and keep it keep it pretty real and and pretty pretty positive. Um, and yeah, there's, I guess the the mantra was sort of inspiration and information for for health. 